Before I start today's video, this is something that not too many people are going to care about or really notice, but I'm not going to have really any PC game footage until early June, and that's because I sold my Fury X graphics card at, for the GTX 1080, which I am getting like the second I'm able to order it. So you're going to see PS4 and Wii U footage, and some lower demanding PC footage, but mostly emulation and stuff, until early June. So anyways, on to the video. So if you've been following rumors for the Nintendo NX, you've probably seen the name Emily Rogers pop up a thousand times already. In fact, this isn't the first time that she's popped up for Nintendo rumors. She was also pretty active during the days of 2011 when the Wii U was still called Project Cafe and everyone was talking rumors and stuff about it. Well, let's just say that she's doing a repeat of what she did before. Emily Rogers is a total fraud and I'm going to prove it right now. So the reason people are actually listening to Emily Rogers and following what she says is because she quote-unquote leaked Paper Mario before Nintendo ever mentioned it. However, a thousand other people were talking about Paper Mario before she even mentioned it, so the fact that she brought it up was pretty much just because everyone else was talking about it at the time. So it's really not that impressive of a feat. Now, if she gave details about the Paper Mario game, you know, like the details that she supposedly gave about the new Zelda game that's being shown at E3 this year, then I'd be more impressed if those details were accurate. But no, she just said Paper Mario coming soon, or announced soon for the Wii U. Not that impressive. And let's move on to why she's wrong about everything she's saying about the NX, besides some, maybe some luck things, who knows, we'll see later this year, and why she was wrong in the past. So Emily Rogers back in 2011 made a post on Games Philosophy about Wii U and 3DS rumors, well they were just called Project Cafe back at the time, and she made a whole list of quote-unquote leaks here, and that if she was wrong about any single one of these, that she would never post anything ever again, because she was extremely confident. Let's go down this list of rumors and see which ones are right, starting with 3DS. Paper Mario 3DS, coming before Christmas 2011, wrong. Animal Crossing 3DS, coming before Christmas of 2011, wrong. Kingdom Hearts 3D, Dream Drop Distance, coming before Christmas 2011, wrong. Mario Kart 3DS, coming before Christmas of, Christmas of 2011. That one was actually right. That's probably a lucky guess, and other people were talking about that at the time, too. Metal Gear Solid 3DS, which ended up being a Snake Eater remake, coming before Christmas of 2011, wrong. Super Mario Bros. 2, or Mario Bros. Wii 2D platformer, is in development for 3DS. Uh, yes, but that one was kind of obvious, since we already saw the game on the DS and then the Wii. It seemed like it was going to be a once-per-console kind of experience Nintendo was trying to make, so that one's not too impressive. <laughs> this one next is kind of funny. Metroid 3DS is in development for 3DS. Uh, I don't know how long Federation Force has been in development, but... I don't even know if it started back then, and it's sure- I don't think it's a Metroid game at all. Anyways, Wii 1 rumors, as in the regular Wii. Skyward Sword, reconfirmed before Christmas of 2011. Again, that one was kind of obvious. If we have a new system coming in 2012, why would Nintendo release a Zelda game on just the Wii after that? So, of course, that's, like, correct. Kirby for Wii, which ended up being Return to Dreamland, will get a release date and a proper trailer, coming before Christmas of 2011. Wrong. Came later. Xenoblade Chronicles and The Last Story coming to the US before the end of 2011. Wrong. They ended up coming in 2012. Alright, it's not very good so far. We've gotten one or two, and those were common sense and easy to guess. The rest of them were totally wrong. Let's go next for Project Cafe Wii, or Wii HD, or whatever people were calling it at the time. There will be over 20 playable games for the Nintendo new console on the show floor. That's wrong. I guarantee Pikmin 3 will be, the new Ninten will be on the new Nintendo console at E3. That ended up actually being right. But again, other people were talking about it. She says she was the first to say Pikmin 3 was for the new home console, but again, pretty much just a lucky guess considering how much other stuff she's gotten wrong. Soul Calibur 4, which I assume she probably meant Soul Calibur 5 based on the timing, is going to be a launch game for Project Cafe. Wrong. There hasn't been a single Soul Calibur on, an, on a Nintendo system in the last few generations. Ubisoft wants to launch with at least three games for Project Cafe, which, when they were talking at first, was going to be true until they either cancelled or delayed a bunch of games, so yeah, that ended up being bullshit, of course. Rockstar is working on something for Project Cafe, and people thought GTA 5 was going to come for the Wii U? Didn't happen. No Rockstar game. 
No hard drive. Nintendo chose to go with a cheaper alternative way of storage. That is a fact. Sorry if you're disappointed, Nintendo would have to make a special deal with a hard drive manufacturer and they decided not to. This one was kind of given away when we didn't see any hard drive manufacturers talking about supplying for game consoles within that year. If, you know, if, if one of them said that, then this would be more impressive, but no, we never saw anything to say that they would be having a hard drive. So, yeah, that one is common sense, too. You will be able to transfer some of your downloadable content, such as your WiiWare and Virtual Console games, from Wii 1 to the new Nintendo console. Yeah, and you could do the same thing on the 3DS from the DSi, so not that impressive. Much more improved online system. Nintendo went to another company to help them with their online gaming services. Uh, half-truth. And in both points. It is definitely an improved online system from what the Wii had, with regular old usernames instead of friend codes and a few extra things, but it's really not a massive improvement. And what Nintendo did, what she means by when they went to another company is... I mean, this isn't probably what she meant, but Nintendo did actually go to another company, and that was... They were originally going to work with EA and have EA make their online system, but EA wanted it pretty much to be an exclusive origin system, basically, so that other developers would have a hard time getting on there, and Nintendo said no, and that's why EA dropped the Wii U, you know, besides the whole underpowered and hard to code for thing. Yeah, so out of that huge list of rumors that she just posted, or not just posted, posted back then, the vast majority of those were wrong. And the ones that were right were either just really lucky guesses, or common sense, or stuff that other people were talking about. So right now, the track record's not looking too good, Emily. And what you said is if you, if you were wrong on any of those, that you would stop posting stuff. And you know what? I'll give you credit, you did, until the NX came up, and then you are doing the same thing again. Here's our test. Emily Rogers said that the new Zelda game is going to have the ability for you to pick between a male and a female Link, and that it was going to be completely voice acted. We are going to see a shitload of Legend of Zelda Wii U NX at E3 this year. If those two things are correct, I will take her more seriously. Not 100% seriously, but I'm not going to, like, discount everything she says. Because it, those things are, while they would be something, like, it seems like something obvious Nintendo would do, it is a little oddball and a little specific, so I, you know, I guess I could take her more seriously at that point. But another thing to consider is that Aonuma played Skyrim when it first came out and was so impressed by the game that he really wanted the next Zelda to be a lot like that, or take cues from it, basically. And that was actually kind of confirmed when he recently said his whole Western Ingredients quote, which I made a video about in, the, like, a while back. That wh That's why it wouldn't surprise me if he's gonna have at least partial or full voice acting in there, and you're gonna have more character customization, which we've already seen so far, plus the bigger world. Uh, Aonuma is one of the best developers at Nintendo right now, if you ask me, or one of the best team leaders, one of the best producers, because of the fact that he actually, pretty much like nowadays, is paying attention to what the West likes, plus the East. But that's, that's a tangent for another video, I, I feel like I've, you know, kind of went off on a tangent here. Anyways, Emily Rogers is a total fraud, and honestly, like, you guys can listen to her all you want, you can discuss the stuff that she says, but really, take everything she says with a whole truckload of salt. I'd be happy to make more videos about proof that she's wrong about stuff in the future if you guys are curious. Like, there was one where she put a graphic on her website that was supposedly leaked from one of her sources, and ended up having all sorts of typos and errors on it, which she corrected after people started pointing it out. Yeah, that's not fishy at all. Uh, take everything that any leaker says with a whole truckload of salt. Just wait for E3 for the for Zelda news, and you know what? We're probably not gonna have to wait too long after E3 for NX news. Like, maybe July, possibly August at the latest. And if we're really, really unlucky, maybe September. That's not that long, guys. Just patiently wait. We'll get more news later. In the meantime, enjoy other games that are being released. We're getting all sorts of cool stuff pretty soon and we're gonna have tons of stuff to play. Anyways, if you liked this video, please hit the like button, it helps me out a lot. If you really, really liked this one, or if you've liked multiple videos of mine, give me a subscribe. I got plenty of content that you might find cool. Anyways, peace out.